Hi, I'm Bob. Today, let's consider the optimal consumption choice for perfect complements and perfect substitutes. We already know that the indifference curves for perfect complements are right angles. The indifference curves for perfect substitutes are straight lines. They are different from the common indifference curves we used in the past videos that are convex to the origin. As shown in the graph, the consumer's indifference curves for tea and milk are right angles. Suppose that the consumer loves milk tea, and she makes the milk tea with a cup of tea and a glass of milk. Only the tea or the milk will not give the consumer any satisfaction. They must be consumed together. So the tea and the milk are perfect complements for the consumer, and the indifference curves are right angles. The budget constraint is always a straight line with a slope equal to the relative price P1 over P2. The optimal consumption bundle is E1 because it is on the highest indifference curve that touches the budget line. The consumer can afford to buy the bundles E1 and E2, but not E3. She prefers E1 to E2 because E1 is on a higher indifference curve and contains more of both goods. Now suppose the price of tea drops, while the price of milk and the consumer's income remain unchanged. The decrease in the tea's price rotates the budget line hours, and it becomes flatter. The new optimal consumption bundle is E2. The movement from E1 to E2 is the total price effect. We can decompose it into the substitution effect and the income effect. So we draw an imaginary budget line that is parallel to the new budget line and through the initial optimal consumption bundle E1. We find that there is no substitution effect of the price change. Regardless of the relative price, the consumer must consume the perfect complements in a fixed proportion. In our example, the consumer must use one cup of tea and one glass of milk together. She will not purchase more tea without more milk, even though the tea's price drops. She will not substitute milk for tea, so there's no substitution effect. The total effect of the price drop comes from the income effect. The consumer becomes richer because of the price drop and can afford more of both goods. The income effect is from E1 to E2. It is also the total effect. There's no substitution effect for perfect complements. Next, let's consider the case of perfect substitutes. For perfect substitutes, the indifference curves are straight lines with slopes equal to 1. Suppose Fanta is less expensive than Marinda. The budget line is flatter than the indifference curves. Where is the optimal consumption bundle? She cannot afford any bundle on I3 because it is above his budget constraint everywhere. Although she can afford to buy bundle E2 on indifference curve I1, her optimal consumption bundle is E1 because it is on the highest indifference curve I2 that touches the budget constraint. This optimal choice is called the corner solution. At the corner solution, the consumer only consumes Fanta. 
she spends all her income on Fanta. The consumer is indifferent between Fanta and Mirinda, so she buys the one at a lower price. We can also interpret her optimal choice from the marginal utility of the last dollar spent, because we assume that Fanta is less expensive than Mirinda. The last dollar can purchase more Fanta than Mirinda. Both Fanta and Mirinda produce the same utility, so the last dollar gives the consumer a higher utility if it is spent on Fanta, because the last dollar spent on Fanta gives her higher utility. The consumer should spend her entire income on Fanta. Similarly, if Fanta is more expensive than Mirinda, the consumer will spend all her income. On Marinda, it is also a corner solution on the vertical axis. Notice that if the indifference curves are convex to origin, as we have seen in the past few videos, the solution is the interior solution. The interior solution is where the budget line is tangent to the indifference curve. If Fanta and Marinda have the same price. Both her budget line and indifference curves have the same slope one, so one of her indifference curves lies on top of the budget line. She is willing to buy any bundle on that budget line, in the interior or at either corner. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.